It is halftime, and of course, we are in halftime of a Bayside Academy football game and recording this in advance, but I uh, wanted to get Ann Schilling with us, the head volleyball coach there at Bayside Academy, and uh, Coach, you're a legend. I mean, I, I was thinking about it as, as I was getting ready for this morning's interview. Out of all the thousands of coaches, the millions of people in the United States, you've achieved something nobody else has. Nobody else has. So um, do you ever sit down and just kind of, does that ever resonate with you? Do you ever sit down and think, man, I am really in some elite company? <laughs> Not really. I mean, I guess maybe one day after I retire, I'll do it. But um, as of right now, we're just trying to get ready to, you know, make a run in the 7A and, you know, state playoffs coming up in a couple of months. <clears throat> Now, i got to ask, since you bring up, and uh, we'll talk all about last year, this year as well for Bayside Academy, but you bring up 7A. Last year you were in 6A, uh, battling the 6A uh, champs and, and losing the semifinals. So despite a loss, you still have to progress onward as far as moving to the next level classification-wise? Yes, yes. We, we got enough points almost from – uh, the year prior state championship, we got four points. All we needed then was a half a point. And as soon as we made the super regional tournament, we were there in 7A. So we knew it. So, um, you know, but we're going to embrace it and embrace the challenge and, you know, see what we can do. I have never delved into this uh, formula that takes, in this particular case, a 3A and eventually puts them into a 7A. But, uh, I mean, does it take a degree in physics to understand it, or is it a rather simple process? It, yeah, it's not that hard. It's just it's a point system. And once you achieve uh, the amount of points, um, it's four and a half, then you move to the next one. And, you know, the good news is we can't move up anymore. <laughs> We're... We're at we're seven A. We can't move up anymore. So um, only thing we can do is stay or move back down. Well, here's the bad news: if they made an eight A, you'd have to move up probably. But well, there is no eight A in Alabama. Yeah, so. I mean it's always a good thing to have to move up because that means you know you're being successful. Now you know I'll be honest. I do wish we would have been able to pull off that six A state championship last year. Um, because if you're going to have to move up, I don't, you know, you don't want to move up and lose, but we did get one six a and, um, you know, so now we're going to try to get in the mix to compete for seven a. All right. So you are doing something this year that has not been done in 20 plus years with you as head coach at Bayside Academy. And that's come off of a non state championship year. Has it been any different from a, preparation standpoint or a uh, psychological outlook standpoint where your team is concerned this year as compared to the previous 21? Yeah, it's definitely different. Um, you know, we, uh, you know, I, I think the kids just, it was just uncharted waters and, you know, just trying to navigate through that and kind of talk about things and, you know, kind of, um, you know, maybe kind of, you know, let them kind of spill their guts on, you know, kind of how they felt and, and things like that. So we can kind of move on because if you don't, it's going to probably creep back into your season at some point. Um, but, you know, me as a coach, I, I just couldn't get wait to get back in the gym because, you know, I always want to rectify that loss and it had been an uncharted waters for me and, um, as well. And, you know, um, you know, it'd been 21 years. So, and, but we've been very fortunate, you know, to be able to win that many in a row and over this span over, you know, five classifications in the streak and we've won six classifications and um, it's just all surreal. But, um, you know, we, like I said, it, it was a little bit different. I mean, their mindset, I think was a little bit different and you just have to get them, you know, kind of, reverting around to, hey, yes, we can do this. And, um, you know, we're going to get out there and compete. And, yes, we're going to have to play teams and win it. Win. I mean, we play these teams anyway, but we're going to have to beat these bigger teams when it matters. So, um, but we can do it. Has it in an odd kind of way taken a little pressure off? Because you've heard year in, 
year round, especially after, I guess, the 18th when you uh, took over the national lead from the standpoint of uh, winning state championships consecutively. So you heard that there was pressure applied. I mean, does it take a little bit of that pressure away? Oh, yeah. It, I mean, it does, um, you know, but I kind of learned to just kind of roll with it. Um, you know, I think I think um, for the kids, it definitely did. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, they can hopefully play more freely and, you know, um, just not worry about that little entity out there. So, yeah, I, I do think that it, it does take some of the pressure off, but um, I didn't mind the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> there are hundreds of volleyball coaches and um, many of them, most of them never get to a championship game in their career. You did it. Uh, you've done it. Now, 22 times winning 20. Well, actually, got to the semis last year. So 21 times to the state championship. You get to the semis last year. And you know how many people who would envy just getting to the semis? You get to the semis, and that's an off year as compared to the last couple of decades. So put a finger on that one thing, if it's possible, that makes your program different. I think we, you know, I mean – we, 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 we really try to mold these kids into, you know, good people and, um, you know, good, not just good players, good people. And, um, you know, just, I, I think our program is just built on a lot of love and respect for each other. And, um, I, I do think we also try to, um, you know, every year you have to win differently. And I think we're able to, uh, figure out the ways the, the important things that we need to do in order to win. Um, and, uh, you know, we always put God first and I think that's huge in our program. And, um, you know, I can't explain it. I mean, there's also been seven other state championship that we've won since I've been here, but weren't in the so-called streak. So it's really 28 wow. um, to be honest is crazy. And the school has 31, which we still lead. I think um, the HSAA and, championships won. So we've been very fortunate here um, to be able to do what we do. But like I said, it's, you know, whole person, it's, you know, putting God first. It's, it's, it's a multitude of things. Um, just believing in each other. Um, you know, just, just our core values here at the school that are, you know, transfer onto the court. Um, you know, all the teachers tell me that, uh, you know, the volleyball girls are just top notch and, and, and just, um, you know, stay ahead of their schoolwork because we do travel a lot. So, you know, I, I think, you know, we're, we're probably not perfect, but but I do think we have a great group of girls year in and year out and, you know, administration that supports the program and, you know, awesome AD and um, wonderful parents who care about their kids and really support us too. Well, and Coach, I'm, I've got to mention because kudos need to be given where kudos are deserved. There has been one constant, and that has been you as coach. I mean, so obviously you play a role in the success there, a huge role. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. I try to be I try to be humble. Um, you know, this is all this is all God's. It's not mine, and uh it's all his. He, you know, he created me in, in his image and his likeness, and you know, um, I'm just I'm just happy that I get to do this and um, coach year in and year out, and, you know, it, it's a lot of fun and I enjoy what I do and, uh, look forward to, you know, going in the gym every day. While we're talking about you, what about your health? How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I have a PET scan actually Thursday morning, so need some prayers, but I feel great. And, uh, my doctor says that all my blood work has been coming back great. So, um, you know, I feel great just one day at a time and just grateful for every day I get to wake up and, and be here. And I would assume, uh, as a matter of fact, I too had uh, cancer at one point. So th there's kind of an apprehension, no matter how far removed you get from it, when you've got to go get that PET scan. Oh uh, yeah, a little bit, you know, Satan will creep in every now and again. And, um, you know, kind of, kind of start whispering some saying you have to go, no, nope, God, you just, you, you got me. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just one of those things where, you know, um, just, I, I'm in his hands. 
So, you know, I, and I know that I've been in his hands all 60 years of my life, but I've been really in his hands the last six since I've been diagnosed. So, you know, I'm good. Um, you know, I know this is only our temporary home and our permanent home is going to be a lot better than this one. But as long as he's leaving, leaving me here, I'm going to try to make an impact. All right, let's talk about impact on the upcoming volleyball season. It's already underway. How is it looking for Bayside? Um, you know, we we had a we did not play competitively in the summertime, so I think that kind of impacted this first weekend a little bit. Um, figured out some things, and um, we we won our pool, went undefeated, didn't drop a set, and then we played Auburn High School the first round of the uh, gold, you know championships and the bracket play and, and got beat in three. Um, but, uh, you know, we learned some things in the loss and, um, you know, we play Gulf Breeze who is extremely talented Thursday at Gulf Breeze. So we're looking forward to that challenge. And then we play at, um, at the Labor Day Classic in Foley this weekend and there's multiple, multiple good teams there. So, you know, we're, we're, we're still kind of learning our way. I think we're going to be, uh, a very good team at some point. I don't think we are a well-oiled machine by any stretch right now, but we're just looking to improve every week. If you look at this team and compare it to a previous team, is there one that it kind of look like, looks like to you? Um, not, not really. I mean, every, every, every team's different. Um, you know, we, we have a lot of our offense back. Um, you know, we lost our M2 and our, our 01, so, you know, our 02, Greer Broughton kind of slipped into the 01 spot, and then we got a sophomore, Fair Lane, who is now our 02, and just trying to, you know, just kind of figure out some things. A brand-new setter, we lost Blakely, who had run our offense for the last three years, so that was, a, a, a you know, just kind of a change there, and, you know, Abby DiMatteo is doing a great job, but, you know, she had never set a ball in competitive – uh, environment until last weekend. So that was something else we were kind of dealing with, but she's going to be phenomenal. I'm not worried about any of that. Um, you know, we are going to be a good team. We, we, we did not play well in the, in the first round of the, the gold playoffs, but you know, that was, that's not going to be in, indicative of how, you know, um, our season's going to go. We, we, you know, we probably going to take our lumps and take our hits, but I, I, you know, our goal is to be playing the best volleyball in October. One last question. And that is what's an acceptable 2024 year for you. Oh man. Um, whew. well, of course, you know, our, our goal never changed. We want a seven, eight state ch state championship, you know, but the, the, you know, the reality of it is it's going to be really, it's going to be really tough. It's going to be tougher um than two years ago in 6a so you know you're just dealing with bigger schools and you know a lot more depth um i'm not saying we cannot do it because we perfect we, we certainly can it's just we've got to be playing um our best volleyball and just be playing on all cylinders um at the end of the year so you know we'll we'll see um you know the sky's the limit with this group and we'll see where we end up but you know, our goal is is not going to change. We're going to always try to win a, a state championship no matter what classification we're in. Coach, great to have you as our guest here at halftime. Let me say thank you very much and uh, congratulations. I mean, for those of us who cover sports, the numbers, the wins, the, the success that you have had there is just mind-boggling. Uh, so um, congratulations on all you've done at Bayside, and thanks for being our guest at halftime. All right. Thank you so much, Robert, for having me. Go Admirals.